Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today I have a review of TuneUp. This is a music utility that helps clean up your iTunes and or Windows Media Player library. Uh, now, it isn't free. There is a free version for you to try, and uh, it is a paid software, but it's well worth it. It runs for a $29.95 or $30 gold license or a $20 annual license. You can look into that depending on what plan you want. That gets you unlimited song cleanups, unlimited cover art saves, or you can try the free version for Windows and I believe Mac uh, for 100 song cleanups and 50 cover art saves. Very, very useful piece of music software. If you're a music, you're not even a, a music buff, if you just have, you know, if you're really uh, into your, you know, iTunes stuff that you always have that open or you may, you know, always be downloading music. And, you know, your iTunes can get cluttered or your Windows Media Player library can get cluttered. It can have missing artwork. You can be. Uh, have mislabeled tracks because you know when you rip CDs you have like stuff like track one, track two. This does all that, cleans mislabeled music, fills in cover art, and on the side it adds some cool extra information like YouTube music videos, artist bios, concert alerts for your bands. Really, really uh, great piece of software for your music collection. Like I said, it's compatible with iTunes and Windows Media Player and runs only on Windows and Mac OS X. I do want to thank the guys over at TuneUp for sending me the copy for the review for this video. You'll probably be viewing this on the Digital Dojo's channel, and I'll probably put it as the featured video on my main channel at youtube.com slash Coolman, just because this is a really, really uh, cool piece of software that does everything, as it says here, auto-magically. All right, so we're going to minimize here to go into my iTunes library as I have it pulled up here. Now, when you open up your uh, either it's iTunes or Windows Media Player, this will start up automatically. You can tell whether to do that or not in the settings, which I'll show you later on. But basically, you have your uh, features right here. This is the home screen you'll see. Uh, it starts up as a side app right next to your iTunes, kind of docked with it. Uh, and you have your choices. You can clean your mislabeled music, find your missing cover art, Explore your world of music, uh, never miss another show, so that's concerts, and you can share your music. So cleaning your music, that's pretty much drag your drag and drop your uh, tracks here. Clean works with up to 500 tracks or songs at a time, so you can drag up to 500 songs in here if you want. You know, if you have all those songs with like track one, track two, etc. For example, here I have a song that was ripped from a CD, uh, and this is an old song, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it in here and let it process. It's going to go through the track, and you can put in you know, multiple tracks. You can see here it found the album and found the cover art. So what I'm going to do is hit Save All. And it should process it through. And it should, yeah. So it's updating all the information. And here you go. You got the album art. You got the info, the track. You know, it's no longer track one. And, you know, I can go through and do this for all my track songs. So if I have all those songs, I can just highlight them and drag them in here, and it will clean everything up, you know, all the artist information, stuff like that. Um, next is cover art, obviously. So if you uh, it'll process all the stuff that doesn't have cover art, and it can look through, and you can go through here and decide whether or not the song that you may have in the library, uh, you know, if you want this cover art, then you can just save it, and it gives you multiple options, as you can see here. Uh, I can click this. I can go through different options and it shows you the resolution as you scroll over and you can simply hit save. Or you can do the, uh, instead if you don't want to do it manual, you can hit the save all option right here. Alright, Tuniverse. Tuniverse basically is uh, showing this, you know, sharing with the, I guess this is also not, this is social media, but also, um, what do you call that? Integrating it with, you know, merchandise. You can look at merchandise from the band. So if I was to click you know, a band like uh, Hollywood Undead right here. And I want to get their information. Let's see if I can... All right, let's see. I guess I'd have to... It says I'm on track three. Oh, so you click that, and it'll go into Tuniverse. And it'll, you know, show me all the information. You can pull it up on a web page as well. So uh, if you want to view it through there. Um, but if not, if you want to... So I guess I can drag this song in here. To, if you just simply drag it. And should process. And as you can see there, it took a second because it was an. I, I actually purchased this song through iTunes and uh, I needed to authorize the computer to play it. But, anyways, gives you the, you know, the band name and the information, products you can buy from them, song recommendations, stuff you may like uh, from other artists, etc. Uh, album recommendations, news about the band, you know, you can does and it just does it with anything you can do with, uh, what do you call that, other things like songs you're currently 
uh, playing in your iTunes library. So if I was to play another song, it should just automatically switch. Let me see if I can find a, just a random song here. I'll just go with one by The Bravery. And automatically the thing will get all your information just like that and get music video from the song you're currently playing from YouTube or Twitter. And you can tweet it out if you put your Twitter information. Um, again, concerts basically shows any upcoming events if there is any. And you can change your location, so I haven't changed my location as of current. Uh, and of course, lastly, you can share. Share with uh, your uh, Facebook friends, Twitter friends, stuff like that on the songs most played in your library, the top artists in your collections, your favorite albums, uh, your last five songs played. It displays it all right here. And just simply, simply hit share, and it'll go out to all your uh, you know, your followers. So it's really cool, too, because it builds in that social aspect where you can share your music with others uh, and, you know, with your, just as says here, share your universe with your friends. All right, um, now, so those are your options right here. You can go to uh, settings right here to mess around with the actual app itself. You can turn off advertisements if you don't want those showing up. So if you disable that, you can disable help tips if you don't want those popping up. You can dock it, tune up with either iTunes or Windows Media Player. Here's a uh, setting also where you can tell it to launch with uh, the media player as it starts, or you can manually launch tune up up to you. And um, for the clean options, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can mess around here. So you know, uh, level two, level one, level three for genres. Uh, you can create playlists uh, when you clean when it cleans items. Try not to tag computations, all those uh, stuff, and you can tell what save what metadata defaults to save right here about the uh, song and lastly the profile you can change your email settings along with location for um, you know uh, account purposes and logging in and you know it displaying for concerts and stuff like that that's why I would need the location but other than that you can hit save here and uh, that is TuneUp. TuneUp uh, really really is a great app like I said you have all these options right here and uh, you have to realize it's a really really great program and you know I know I'm, I'm showing only showing you examples with one or two songs here but you can literally drag up to 500 songs I, I don't have a huge library like I know a lot of people have I mean, tons and tons of songs but if you have you know a huge library it's easy for you just to drag uh, a lot of songs in here and just get all your information and I'll process it pretty quickly you know from what I've uh, tried in the past so it can process and like I said album art quick uh, all those tags you need for your songs like artists albums stuff like that Really, really a great program. Definitely gives uh, gets a thumbs up for me. Uh, worth the thirty dollars for the gold license if you're gonna buy it. Uh, really, no flaws. It uh, as I ran into it, no bugs. It really runs great. Did everything I asked it to. Uh, and then, you know, it gives you multiple options if you don't like one album art or you know something like that. It, it's really, really great. I haven't really seen any flaws. It's cross platform with Mac and uh, Windows. So definitely gives a thumbs up. I guess, you know, support for more media players would be great in the future, but iTunes and Windows Media Player are pretty much the dominant on both Mac and, I guess, Windows side. So uh, definitely gets a 5 out of 5 uh, rating for me. Uh, and you guys should definitely check it out. I'll leave the link in the video description below. Uh, again, I want to thanks for watching. I want to thank the people at TuneUp for sending this for review. Uh, and leave your comments if you use this application or, you know, if you have any thoughts on this application. Uh, below. So thanks for watching.